Hello, friends. Thank you for tuning in to the AI Wealth Wave channel here on YouTube. Quick question for you. Have you heard about this awesome AI tool called Humator? If you haven't, that's totally fine because we're gonna dive into that all here. And I might be saying the name wrong. Humata, Humata. I tend to say Humata because it rhymes with data and that's what we're dealing with here in this platform. <laughs> but you may hear me saying it both ways. But Humata is an AI powered platform that specializes in summarizing, answering questions about documents, particularly PDF files of pretty much any size. And it's gonna get you the information you want from documents in seconds, literally. I think this is so cool. It's made me not dread doing market research so much because I can get the information I need fast and um, move on to the things I do, content, content creation, etc. But what you're looking at on the screen here is their homepage. And if you do end up checking out this platform, check out this vignette that's scrolling across the screen right now and see the types of questions that people are able to ask this platform and get answers in their documents. I think it's super cool. Um, and it just shows you how powerful this platform is. So we're gonna talk about how you can use this tool to get valuable insight into pretty much whatever you want to analyze and dive into. And if you are a blogger, an affiliate marketer, online marketer, pretty much any business owner, students. I think this is a really powerful platform because you'll be able to analyze large documents very quickly, several documents at a time, and you'll be able to pull out relevant information that you need in the sense. So again, affiliate marketers, your competitive analysis is going to be cut down to minutes because you can summarize large volumes of competitor documents. You can look at white papers, marketing strategies, even affiliate program details. Like if you are analyzing and trying to choose what type of affiliate marketing program you want to join, you will be able to get the salient information about that platform pretty easily. So you can make your decisions and, and keep it moving. Online marketers, you can leverage this platform quickly by digesting market research reports, consumer behavior studies, industry trends, all of that's done pretty fast. It's just making content creation so much easier in this day and age. And with so much content being out there, we need all the tools and help we can get to get things done quickly. So without further ado, I'm just gonna take you into the platform itself. Um, and show you some use cases and how I've used it and how it's been helping me so far in my business. So this is the internal interface of the Humata platform. And it's pretty simple. It's I don't I don't want to use the word basic, but it's it's pretty straightforward. And I love the fact that it's a very simple interface, but it's so powerful to use. So if you look here, you can see the types of documents you can use PDFs, Word documents, PowerPoints. I mean, when you talk about PowerPoints, you mean you can put any PowerPoint in here and get whatever information you want to get from that PowerPoint without looking at the whole millions of slides or what have you. I think that's pretty cool, pretty powerful. So as you look here, these are a few documents that I uploaded primarily for the purposes of this video. And when you want to analyze one, all you have to do is come over here and click ask. Click ask and you'll see it downloads the report pretty fast. And if you look over here on the left, which I think is super cool, it gives you a summary of what the report is about or what the document is about. And it also gives prompts you with a few questions that you can ask it already. I think this is pretty 
powerful for me personally because if you're looking at like a white paper that you know very little about, it could be a subject that you don't want to know much about. You don't even know what to ask it. Here is already giving you some questions, which A, tells you the type of information you can get from the document and it gets your wheels to turning. So if you don't even know where to start, it's already giving you some questions. Um, so we'll dive more into that in a second. But I also wanted to point out over here on the right is you have the actual PDF that you can scroll alongside the chat area and you can actually see the report. This particular document was a 2023 social media marketing industry report that I got from Michael Stelzner talking about how marketers are using social media to grow their businesses and like who's not doing that these days. So you see a high quality image of this PDF in full color scrolling through looking at the executive summary here. Um, the major findings in the report and you just can get an idea of what information is already in the report so that you can see what things you want to start asking it what do you want to get from it so if you don't have an idea of what you want to learn or what a document is telling you you can scroll through and, and see what's what's in there so you can start formulating your questions but going back over here to this summary this 2023 social media marketing industry report covers topics such as the use of social media platforms, organic and paid activities, video marketing, and the importance of Instagram. Just giving you a summary of what's in it. And these questions, what are the key findings regarding the usage of social media platforms mentioned in the report? How does the report highlight the importance of Instagram for marketers? What demographic information about the survey participants does the report provide? I think these are good questions and sometimes it's like things that I don't even know that I would have thought to ask. So I think that's really good. And what I'll do here is just I'm going to copy one of these questions and paste it into the chat and just see what type of responses we get from it just to get an idea of the type of information and the quality of information that he made us able to go in and quickly extrapolate from documents and give to you. So as you see here, it's telling us the key findings regarding the uses of social media platforms as mentioned in the report are as follows. I'll just go through the bullets here because who wants to hear me read everything that's on this screen? Increased exposure and traffic, improved sales and lead generation, developing loyal fans. Instagram and Facebook are considered the best platforms for developing a loyal fan base. So these are the types of things where this is the type of information we're getting from this particular report. Um, and if we go back over here to the PDF, another thing that I found to be incredibly valuable for me is that it highlights the text that these answers are coming from. And I think that's really helpful because if I'm looking at a white paper, which I've done, if I'm looking at like a huge contract and I know there are areas that I want to cover, maybe there are statistics that I want to get and I can look through here and say, okay, well, this is what's already been covered, what's highlighted in yellow. So I look at the things that aren't highlighted to see if it contains information that I haven't looked at yet. So, um, like they're talking about the growth of TikTok here. Um, Facebook dominance is still growing. But what if I want to also get information about the decline of Facebook or whatever? I see that that's not highlighted over here, which means we haven't talked about that yet. So if I want to put that point into my report or into my research or for whatever purpose I'm using it, I can go and look and say, all right, well, I, have, they, I haven't really asked about that. I can read through and say, okay, this is what I want to know about this. So just in using the platform, that's one of the things I found to be really helpful. I get to quickly look and see, okay, I haven't talked about this. I haven't covered that. Let's cover it here. So I think that's one of the features that makes this tool super powerful. And I'll go back to the... Um, of the part of the interface here 
And I've uploaded a couple of contracts because in my day life, I work in the staffing industry and I deal with a lot of contracts every day, huge contracts in a lot of cases. And I decided that I just kind of go out onto the web and find some contracts for just the purpose of this video again, just to demonstrate this tool and how powerful it is. So we uploaded a contract here and it's giving us a quick summary telling us about x company and why in the agree, the agreement between x company and and y client and again those questions here so we have this pdf of the contract and some of these questions here that it's prompting us for what are the key provisions covered in the agreement between health trust and the client how does the document address the use of subcontractors what are the compliance requirements mentioned in the agreement? And how do they relate to laws and regulations such as HIPAA? And if anyone knows about contracts in the staffing industry, you know, this is pretty common um, in any agreement as it relates to that industry. And so I just copied and pasted that question to, again, show the type of responses we'll get. But I'll also ask it another question. Like, what does this contract say about subcontracting? And it will go through and show us what it says about that. Um, so again, I just wanted to kind of show you what kind of information you can get from documents, which is pretty much unlimited. And I encourage you to give this platform a try. It's free to check it out and see what it can do for you. I love the fact that I was able to go out on the web and, and just pull information from a site that I visit often just to see what information I can get from an article that's gonna be useful to me in some research that I was doing. So going back to that question what does this contract say about subcontracting it's going to give you all the requirements in the contract about subcontracting so this is just one simple example of how powerful this tool can be so if you take it and you go out for bloggers if you want to do your research for your roundup blog posts you can go out to whatever sites you want to and create PDFs of those sites, drop them into here and get the information you need to get to help you develop your marketing strategy or to develop that blog post so that you can go ahead and get it done and it'll be done quickly. So to wrap this up, I'll take you back over to the Humata platform, just show you some of the pricing is so it's how so you can see how affordable it is. Again, like I said, you can get started for free. And hey, if you're a student, you can get this for $2 a month. I mean, come on, like when it comes to research papers and all the ways that you need to gather information to do your, your reports, I think that's totally wild that you can get that for a couple of bucks. The experts, you know, it's nine and nine a month. So I think the platform is pretty affordable. So. I just want to thank you again for surfing the AI wealth wave here where we talk about all things AI that will help you build your business and make more money by using AI. You know that AI is here to stay, so we might as well embrace this new reality and see how we can make it work for us. So here on the AI wealth wave channel, we explore new tools and gadgets, and I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to new developments with AI. I do have a link in the description of this video. If you want to check out the Humata platform, I invite you and encourage you to do so. And if you found this video to be helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for helpful AI insights you won't want to miss. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.